In this scenario, we're going to add a cache to an app. First, we need to build the app. Let's leverage AZD and use the AZD init command so we can use their Django and Postgres on Azure Container Apps template. AZD will take care of creating the environment, provisioning the resources, and deploying everything as soon as I type in AZD up. Once it's done, it gives us the endpoint of our app that's fully deployed into Azure, and we can now visit it in the browser. Now in the browser, we can see our app fully working here. On your own time, of course, feel free to deploy this template and poke around as much as you'd like. But the purpose of this video is to show you how you can leverage the GitHub Copilot for Azure extension to add a cache to your app. So let's head back to VS Code. I've got GitHub Copilot chat opened here and I've asked the at Azure extension, how do I configure my Django app to use Azure Redis cache? It's provided me a couple of CLI commands that I need to run. And additionally, a couple of configurations that I need to change in my settings.py. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these changes and I'll be back once I'm done. Just wrapped up running the commands, implementing the recommended changes as well. And in models.py, just added some basic cache functionality into my code. And you can see here in the terminal, I'm just testing to see if interactivity with my cache is working and it looks like it is. So now let's go ahead and deploy our code changes. And we can do that leveraging AZD once again with the AZD deploy command. Similar to that AZD up command, as soon as it is done, it'll give us an endpoint. Back in the browser, let's click destinations. And my goal here is to just generate a couple of hits to the cache. So let's click around a couple of things, select Uranus, it's got a silly name. <laughs> And now we can head over to the Azure portal and verify that all this stuff is actually working. Taking a look at our server load and memory usage, it looks like the hits are coming in and everything's wired up correctly. Install the extension, let us know any feedback you have in the repo and let us know which scenarios you'd like us to cover next.